If your movement feels floaty like this, it's not your animation, it's the camera settings. In this video, I will show you five simple tricks that you can use to make your sprinting and running feel way more responsive in Unreal Engine 5. We're not adding any features, we're just polishing what you have. So let's get started. All right, so right now I just have my player character in this third person template. And when I press shift, as you can see, I start running, but I do this in a very awkward way. I'm going basically faster than my feet are moving, right? So the animation and the movement speed is not matching, right? What it needs to be. And then on top of this, the transition in between sprinting and just walking doesn't feel very natural. So what we can do instead of just changing the speed right here like this is first of all to reduce the amount of velocity of speed that we're moving as. So we can reduce this to like 800 so that it matches our feet. And now as you can see, it's way better. Now, of course, if you want to go faster, you will need another running animation that was a bit faster. And one little trick that you could do is to simply go into your animations, find unarmed, go into your jog and basically find the jog forward and you would just duplicate this one right and simply go into the raid and increase this to like you know not two because he looks like very cartoony unless you're trying to go into that direction but maybe something like 1.5 or similar right that's a little trick so that you don't need to get another running animation which goes a bit faster and that's it okay so now that our speed actually matches the animation what we also need to do is to basically move the camera a bit back because if we move the camera a bit back we have that sensation that we're going faster so we can do this very easily by just changing the camera boom the camera boom is just the distance of the camera from the character so i can put this to a hundred and now it's more far away as you can see right so we just need to do this through the gameplay so i can just get the camera boom and set the you know arm length to be like 500 and now when i start sprinting the camera goes backwards but as you can see that wasn't very smooth because we instantly changed from one distance into another one and we need a transition right we need the camera to literally zoom back as if it had like a sort of animation so what we're going to do is basically add a timeline a timeline allows us to you know set a value to be updated through a specific amount of time and we can create a smoothing between that in this case i made one which is very simple of just 0.2 seconds so super quick and i'm gonna just go ahead and transition with a lerp from 400 to 500. so right now the camera boom is 400 and i want to go to 500 so that's why the a is 400 and b is 500. all right so now i press play and i run as you can see the camera zooms uh, back but very smoothly and you see there's one last thing that we want to add on top of that which is going to be going and also changing the camera fields of view the fov right the pov or however you want to call it so right now on the camera we have one of 90 if i put you know this to be like 200 which is exaggerated as you can see <laughs> maybe that's too much uh let's do like 150 right okay so with that, you can see that, uh, you know, it looks like we are going faster if I move, right? Look, it looks like we are going like through the whole world. So that's exactly what we need to do. But again, in the gameplay, we want to do it with a transition. So we can hook this up with our timeline that we created and go from 90, which is the current FOV, to 100, which is just a bit, right? And now if I combine that, as you can see, we get this really cool running sensation. Now, of course, you want to go ahead and on the released, right, when we stop pressing the key, go back to our normal speed and reverse this timeline so that it goes back to the default settings. So we run, we stop pressing shift, and we go back. And that's it. That's how you can go ahead and have an insane movement for when you run and sprint in Unreal Engine in just three simple steps. So if you want to know how to basically be able to make any game feature, mechanic, or whatever you want inside of Unreal Engine, in literally no time go ahead and check out this video right here and now yes we thought i said bye bye